like there's very little that's being done from what anyone can see um, by police or the city and that's basically throughout these two weeks and so you know it it that sense of despondency is kind of um, amplified when you see like what I would describe as like a dystopic Canada Day for far-right extremists <laughs> unfolding in front of Parliament Hill with police standing by and it also leaves a lot of people myself included feeling kind of scared about like well if things were to escalate from here what can we expect from law enforcement I mean I say this only half joking but I think the only thing that's going to get law enforcement to actually do something is a dead cop like it's going to take a police officer dying for them to take it seriously because they I mean they haven't made many arrests or or ticketed many people they haven't enforced the laws that are on the book like unlawful assembly laws forget about declaring a riot and going like that far but unlawful assembly cause disturbance um uh public mischief uh you know when they when they said they were going to crack down on people bringing fuels and jerry cans to refuel these trucks um they didn't and then when some of the protesters started all carrying around empty jerry cans so the police couldn't do their job, they didn't charge those people with obstructing the police. So there's nothing that they're actually doing other than standing around. And today we saw when the, the protesters tore down the um, the metal gates around the cenotaph um, and the, the tomb of the unknown soldier that were put up because the same protesters were defiling it literally defiling it um the police actually seated that ground stood across the street and told the protesters i guess security's in your hands now 